Hello, everybody. So, I got to go to work dressed like this today, and it was fantastic. Um, my husband came to me this morning and said, can we go to Walgreens real quick and pick up some black nail polish? And I was like, sure. And then he goes, I'm really glad that you didn't ask me why. <laughs> it's like one of those moments when you realize that you married the right person because it wasn't like, why the hell do you want to wear nail polish? And I was just like, okay. So... We went and got him some um, black eyeliner and some nail polish because he and a co-worker today had decided to go his, like, sort of theme, like, like punk, like, what high school boys would wear. So <laughs> that's what he wanted to do. And I was like, well, if you're going to go to work and be high in a Halloween attire, then I want to dress up. And then I was like, what do I have around my house that I could just whip up into a Halloween costume? And then I was like... Ninja headband. This is happening. So originally I was going to try to dress up as Toka because she's got like this just this like tall ponytail. And I've tried to put my hair up and I felt like I didn't look a whole lot different than I normally would each day. And then I remember that I had this shirt. So the shirt's got dragons on it. That's pretty neat. I remember that I had this shirt and I was like, yeah. I was like, and now I'm going to be Ten Ten. So Ten Ten from Naruto has these little two little buns and she's like the weapons master. So I was like, yeah, let's do this. Of course, nobody knows who I am but me. But I got to go to work as a ninja, and it changes your whole day when you're a ninja. <laughs> um, so that's my Halloween update. Um, plans for the weekend. Currently, it is October 30th. Tomorrow's Halloween. It is also uh, the League of Legends World Championship, so I have a party. And I'm staying up really late because uh, midnight, the night of Halloween, is November 1st. And I'm going to hit the ground running, so i got to be ready. Um... I'm not going to bother you right now with words about my current novel because I'm sure you'll get to hear about it plenty in the coming months and I don't have a lot of it written so it's sort of just this uh, undifferentiated stem cell right now that is trying to be a novel. Um, so I have good ideas about it, I just, there's not a whole lot to talk about right now because I haven't written it. However, I did tell you recently that we were going to be uh, redoing Achillea because I figured out how to fix it. So I'm um, this is my update to you as to where I'm in the fixing of it and uh, editing is still king. <laughs> yeah um, because I already love this novel and the people that read it already love this novel and let me tell you that with all the changes that I put in here already and I'm only through mind you chapter six it is going to be so much better you have no idea. <laughs> So I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, I, I got to take a couple of the points that a couple of my betas were, um, that they kept commenting on, like not liking me, and that was one of them. Um, Chaos actually had took some issues with the way that Tarendale acted, and, you know, in a way that kind of bothers me. Um, her and I talked about it. I'm not actually, like, upset with her or anything, but I'm really protective of Tarendale, and um, I kind of figured out why I'm protective of Tarendale. And it's because the way that he acts throughout the novel is the way that I feel like I would personally act if I were in his situation. And it, it's the fact that he has to sort of like lead from the shadows and he makes a lot of really difficult decisions that are mostly going to hurt the people that he cares about the most, but for the greater good. Um, so I sympathize with him a lot. Some people are like, God, he's being such a dick. And I'm like, don't hate him. <laughs> he's doing his best. Um, so anyway... His the way that his character strikes people and the way that Mian's character strikes people is um, is bad and you know it's, it's kind of in a good way but it kind of wasn't in a good way too so that kind of wasn't in a good way too I'm actually gonna I'm gonna fix it so um, with the removal of Dashi it actually changes quite a bit about the political dynamic of the city and that's currently where I'm at right now and it's going so much better. <laughs> um, so I can't re I don't really want to tell you a whole lot because spoilers but I'm really really liking it so I'm pretty excited about the uh, the the it's not really a rewrite it's just an edit it's there's some like newly written stuff I added a whole new scene that is from Lida's point of view so when I wrote the whole thing before it was actually only just from Mian and Heike's point of view um, but when I started thinking about chopping it up and removing me, and I kind of wanted to do a little bit from the main members of Achillea, so it would have been Heike, and me and would have been gone, and then also Lida, Ciel, Naniha, and uh, Larka. 
But now that Mian's back in here, it's like, well, let's just make it an Achillea book. That would make more sense anyway, given the name. So um, you're going to see a lot more from the other perspectives that weren't seen quite as much. So I had to chop out a whole lot of Mian's chapters because they mostly included Dashi, so those are gone, which means I have to rewrite most of her chapters, which is funny, because when I first started this project, I had to rewrite all of Haika's chapters because Haika was then Toka, which was not my character. So when I started, I kept all of Mian's chapters and I rewrote all of Haika's. Now I'm going back and basically rewriting all of Mian's, <laughs> which in one is a good thing because it means I've completely lost the original plot. <laughs> Two, it's a lot of work. But I get I get to make her and I get to make her better. And then again, the the other thing is that I'm going to add in all of the side characters that you didn't get to see before. So I already have a chapter from Lida's point of view, and the next one that I'm tackling is Ciel. Uh, that's going to be sort of a, a spy scene. Um, that's all I know. I don't know much about it. Um, the prologue actually is was an addition too. Um, I had a couple of little one shots that I had done fan fiction wise, uh, but also I had a couple of original work fan uh, posted on the archive, and um, they're very very appropriate at certain ports, pi <laughs> certain points throughout the story. So I had an original work that I had posted, um, and that now became the prologue because publishers and agents don't really love prologues. But I love prologues, and since I'm publishing this now, and, and, and I can do it however I want, I'm adding a prologue. <laughs> this is my rebellion. I'm adding a prologue. I really like my prologue, and it's appropriate as a prologue because it's actually out of timeline. So it's from years and years ago. But it does involve one of the members of Achillea, and when you read it, you'll know which one. And um, it also speaks toward a plot that is going to happen later, but it happens before, the, this scene happens before the story that hints at something that's going to happen later. So it actually is, um, an, uh, and it's not a necessary prologue, nothing in the book is really necessary, you know, you can always change it. Um, but it is definitely not a frivolous prologue, so I really like it, and when I wrote it the first time, I loved it, and um, I think it would work really well. <laughs> I also pulled out a um, fanfiction one-shot that basically had to do with grief, and so that was, you know, very useful there. So I pulled that in, too. Um, so, yeah, um, I've added some scenes, and I'm writing a new scene right now, and um, the rest of the story will change. So I added a prologue, and I have edited six chapters and added one chapter. I've deleted probably about 18,000 words again because I had to, I basically had to rip Dashi out. So, um, I also have re-envisioned how the wardens are going to work, so that'll help lose the canon plot line that I had a problem with before. And, um, that there's a scene where all the leaders of the world meet together. I'm undecided whether or not I'm going to keep that or not, but the meeting with Nemase still has to happen. And uh, I've changed the way that interaction goes as well, which is fun, <laughs> because I get to make her more of a cunt than she already is, <laughs> which will be fantastic. Okay, so really excited about the way that Achilles is going. I hope that you are too, and I know that this can be published now. So um, that's my update for the day. Uh, mostly I wanted to do an update for the day, just so that I could show you. <laughs> my ninja gear. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go now, so I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.